There are several ways to find neighbors for Farmville. Maybe you already have a Facebook profile and have seen Farmville messages from your friends. Then you can just go to the Neighbors tab of the game and invite those friends who already play the game to be your neighbor. If none of your friends play Farmville, but you think they might like it too, you can also invite them to play with you from the Neighbors tab or choose the tab Invite Friends to send them a message that you would like them to come and play with you. If you don't have any friends on Facebook yet, don't worry. Farmville is a great game to meet new people. Other players will usually be happy to accept new neighbors since active players as friends help you progress faster in the game. So if you don't know anyone playing Farmville yet, the easiest way to find new neighbors is heading over to the Farmville Game Forum by clicking on Forums under your game, which will take you straight to the Farmville Forum. There is a whole section there with people who would like you to add them as your friends and be your Farmville neighbors. You can either post your own request into the thread or just choose people to send a friend request to. You can add a message to your request if you like. Another way to find neighbors and one I recommend is using the Game Fan Forum Gamers Unite. I will mention Gamers Unite again when I talk about collecting from the feed and I would ask you to keep an open mind about them if you have heard some unbelievable stories. They are a fan group with more than 200,000 very active players and most of my most considerate neighbors are gamers. So I can really recommend getting people from this fan group as your neighbors. They have an add me section in their forum too. After some of your new friends have accepted your friend request, you can go to the Neighbors tab and invite them to play with you. Once you have a few neighbors, you can try to branch out your neighborhood along those people. The best way to find active players is by checking the Facebook profile pages of your friends for neighbors who have left fuel when they were fertilizing or maybe a gift when they were visiting. You can then send them a message and ask them to become your friend and Farmville neighbor too. This is a much more reliable way to find active neighbors than just believing what they write on a forum. Once you have a few neighbors, you can start finding out more about their farm and visiting to fertilize and feed their chickens is something that will not only help them in the game, but it also helps you get ahead a lot faster. The fastest way to visit several neighbors in a row is by using the neighbors bar under your game window. You can do five tasks for your neighbor when you visit their farm. This will get you five times ten coins and one XP if you fertilize, plow or unwither plots or up to fifty coins if you collect from animals or harvest trees. Particularly at the start this may be tempting, but you won't get any XP or collectibles if you harvest trees or collect from animals and your neighbors will want you to rather unwither or fertilize, so it's worth alienating your neighbors for just a few coins more. The only exception to this rule are the farms of breeders that you will recognize by several horses and sometimes cattle outside buildings that are usually filled with only a few animals. On their profile you might find several posted rare foals a day. They will usually be grateful if you collect from animals other than horses or cows or bulls, since they can't use farm hands if they want to breed every day. 
but do leave their horses and cattle alone, otherwise you might lose them as neighbors really fast. You can also leave your neighbors pig slop, gifts and animal feed while you visit. Clicking on the feed trough gives you 100 coins or two scoops of animal feed that you can also share with friends by posting it. Another thing you can do at a neighbor's farm, which will give you another 100 coins and 10 more XP, is feeding chickens. For this you click on the chicken feed bag or on the coop. Sometimes you will find mystery eggs because the chickens are happy about you feeding them. Mystery eggs can get you up to 500 XP when you open them and the rarest ones contain buildings and decorations worth up to 5000 coins if you want to sell the content. Since rare eggs are worth most XP and coins, getting those is a high priority task if you want to progress fast in the game. If you can't visit all your neighbors every day, I recommend you start at the top of your neighbor list. Since players in high levels will usually own the best chickens, giving you the chance to find better mystery eggs. If you visit 50 neighbors, fertilize their crops and feed their chickens, this will get you 750 XP and 7500 coins a day. In addition to that, you will usually receive one fertilize all as a reward for visiting and you will find about three mystery eggs that might get you another 500 XP or 5000 coins each. So visiting your neighbors certainly pays off and lets you progress faster in the game. I recommend you do it whenever you can, every day. In addition to the coins, XP and eggs you receive for visiting, there are also two achievements that are connected to visiting your neighbors. The Good Samaritan Ribbon gives you 425 XP and 18,500 coins for helping 2,500 neighbors and the Crop Whisperer achievement is worth another 425 points and 7,500 coins for the first 2,500 crops you fertilize and will only take a fifth as long to achieve since you can theoretically fertilize five crops on every farm a day but it will only count as helping a neighbor once a day. It will count only if you can perform all the five actions you can so if you can't do one of those because all the fields are fertilized and there are only four ripe trees you can harvest and no ready animals. The visit doesn't count for the Good Samaritan Ribbon. Feeding chickens is in your own best interest, but it doesn't count for the Good Samaritan. Neither does leaving fuel, pig slop or other gifts. But your neighbors might like these and it's a good way to let them know you stopped by. Another way to help your neighbors and get help from them is by sending free gifts. You can go to the free gifts tab of the game, choose which gifts you want to send and then choose which neighbors you want to send them to. The gifts that make most sense in my opinion are the watering can, a consumable that can be used to grow up special trees from orchard seedlings and the special delivery box. This can contain building materials, bees, the giftable collectibles, vehicle parts, shovels, watering cans, fuel, arborists, farmhands and farm cash on rare occasions. If you use it while you don't construct buildings or grow up trees, it acts just like the mystery gift and gives you decorations, animals, trees, fuel, coins and sometimes farm cash on rare occasions. In addition to that, it is never quite clear what you really got until you have opened the mystery gift, thus making it the gift with the most suspense. 
Also, the contents of the mystery gift are changing, so even if you think you might already have or know everything you might get, there is still the element of chance and surprise in it. You might find that this makes the game more fun for you. It is polite to give to every friend once a day, but the total number of gifts you can send is restricted by Facebook. To prevent spam you can only send up to 20 requests of any kind on one application a day, so if you want to add lots of new neighbors at the start, you might just choose the same gift for up to 50 people, which will only count as one of your requests. You can add a message to your gift and request things that you can't send yourself in return. Some players also use the chat function of Facebook for that. You have to use your own instincts here. Requesting a gift from one of your best real life friends should be alright. Badgering strangers who just agreed to become your neighbors with lots of requests for gifts is considered impolite by most people and will probably lose you friends instead of get you gifts. There are two basic ways to give and return gifts. The first one is the one I just described. Choose something you like and send it to as many people as you can in the hope of getting something in return. The other way is returning the gifts your neighbors send you. This will usually get you more things you don't want or need yourself, so I prefer the first method. The best way is to combine those two methods, trying to return some gifts and sending around what you like too. Later on in the game, if you construct buildings, you can also request additional gifts from friends to complete them or upgrade your vehicles. One last word about neighbors for now. It is a good idea to get 50 neighbors right at the start of the game, because the local celebrity ribbon will get you 180 XP and 18,500 coins in total for adding the first 50 neighbors.